Welcome to Break Magazine. My name's El Pavey, and this is Mini Tip Monday. This week on Mini Tip Monday, we've got a really simple skill for you to practice. One of the most common things that we see people coming from a road riding background is that they use both feet for their balance. So when they start to ride slowly or they get a little bit nervous, both feet come out like anchors. And the goal of this week's Mini Tip Monday is to start to change that habit. So we're using one foot on the ground for our balance and not two feet out all the time. Where this really comes into its own is if you're a shorter rider riding a bigger bike or if you're starting to push your ability level and riding more difficult terrain where the ground is no longer flat. To kind of help demonstrate this, I brought in my instructor friend, Jenny Huntley. She's really small. She regularly rides really big adventure bikes. It's the perfect demonstration. So why does the concept of having one foot down and the other foot on the foot peg or above the foot peg work? Well, if you imagine that when we are sat with both feet out on a motorcycle, we are essentially like a four-legged stool where two legs have been cut short. At some point, if you cut those legs short enough, that stool is phenomenally unstable and you'd fall over. The first part of learning to be comfortable with this is placing one foot solidly on the ground so that the heel is all the way down and the other foot never goes past the foot peg. It can rest on the foot peg, it can dangle in midair, but as soon as you go past that foot peg, your balance will shift too far the other way and you become unstable again. You really want that heel down at all times for your maximum stability. The second part of this is about moving your bum. When we ride on the street and when we're nervous, we generally freeze up a little bit and we don't move our bodies at all. But for this to work most effectively, especially if you're shorter or you're riding in those difficult situations where the ground can still be a long way away, you need your bum to be a much more mobile thing. So we wanna take our bum from the middle of the seat and get really, really comfortable with the fact that it doesn't need to be there for our balance. So we shift it right across towards the leg that's on the ground. Now, when you do this, you'll instantly feel that you gain leg length. You physically are closer to the ground on the side that's on the ground and life is much easier. And the third part of this is learning to relax in that position. Once you're comfortable with your foot flat on the ground and your kind of bum or thigh on the top of the seat and your right leg not really doing a lot, you're very stable. You've got three points of contact with the two wheels. You're one on the floor. That's more than enough to be balanced. And so then it's a really good thing to kind of just get comfortable there. Take your hands off the handlebars. Get used to what the balance feels like. What you'll find is that the gentler you are with the bike in this position, the less you fiddle with it, the more stable the whole thing will be. So the final point to learning this really well is to learn to be comfortable with either foot on the ground. Ultimately, the goal is to always out of habit, choose to put your foot where the ground is high rather than where the ground is low. If we're putting our foot to the high ground, we're always gonna be more comfortable. We're way less likely to have that scenario where we lose our balance. So when it comes to thinking about this in the real world and making this a habit, it's something that you want to try and practice all the time. Start by surveying the ground when you're riding, when you choose to pull up somewhere. Always look at the ground and pick that high point deliberately, especially in the UK. For us, quite often, the ground even on the street is lower on the left than the right. So there's no reason for us to be putting our foot to the low ground. That's about it for this week's Mini Tip Monday. If you've enjoyed this video, throw a comment down below, hit that like button. Maybe if you want to see more, poke the little subscribe button and the bell. That gives you a little notification when our videos are out. We'll have another mini tip Monday for you next week. And remember guys, life's better when you're riding.